Well, I'm in California, so I've got my low-fat decaf soy chai latte. I've got my vegan scone, and I've been growing a lot of facial hair because I'm on my way to see Mark Weir. Howdy! Hey, Dan. Don't bother getting out. Got a little shopping to do. A little shopping. Okay, shopping it is. Time to ride pump track. We're going shopping. Well, I'm glad we got that little shopping extravaganza out of the way. Now down to business. Here we are. Howdy. Mark Weir's pump track. Never done pump track before, but in at the deep end. That's my first lap. Safe to say, he pretty much left me for standing. I think I've got a lot to learn. He's making it look a little bit too easy. So what's the, what, what's the idea, Mark? What's going on? Uh, you know, the, the idea of the pump track is be able to create rhythm with, uh, with the ground that's made. And a lot of it is just being able to uh, make speed out of every bump. So you're trying to be on the ground kind of soft on the fronts and heavy on the back. As soon as the front wheel goes over, you're pushing it down. And as soon as your rear, you're letting up on your rear coming up over the top. And as soon as it goes over the top, the crest of the roller, you're stomping down as hard as you can on your rear end to squirt out of there. And then do it again, light on the front, heavy on the back, and always trying to stay low and close to the ground. Cause it's not about getting there, it's about making speed. Well, the one thing I picked up on was squirt out of there and I'm quite good at that. <laughs> so there's hope for me yet. <laughs> this bit's causing me a bit of trouble. This is like a little step up thing and it's killing a lot of speed for me. So I'm gonna find out, I'm gonna quiz a Jedi Knight here. Cause I'm coming off the ground just trying to act like that's full of dirt and just staying super close. And right when I get to here, this is where I'm pushing down again. So I'm just unloading, taking a split second off the ground just to get right back on it as quick as I can and then just completely compress against the side of this and then down that to get the speed to do the step down. One of the things about pump tracks, you get a big workout on the, uh, on the, on the lungs because he just told me he's got an altitude tent yep. over his bed and basically makes him live at about 15,000 meters up. I usually keep it around 7,000 because my kid's only two and a half, so I want him to have big lungs but not be a midget. Cheating. Is there something I should do with the bike? It's going to help me. Should I cheat a bit in the bike setup? Yeah, I mean, instead of using it like a bulldozer, uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One thing you could do is stiffen up your compression on your fork because you are pumping on a trail bike but basically making it as stiff as it can to be like a hardtail with a short travel fork. So I've made a little bit of progress this morning, but this little beast is killing me because it's just like a whoop up and I just can't get it to, to pump down the other side. So the timing is an issue, you know, but that comes with time. <laughs> this is a huge opportunity to make speed on this steeper bit downhill and then pump this one really hard all three of these as hard as you can, basically. Stomping, and then when you come up over this, it's just a little bit of a pull up, or if you're going fast enough, it's a push down, and you're just aiming for right down here. Because if you touch there, or touch like this, you're losing speed. But if you come down and just get it right to there and push down, you'll be going fast enough that you can coast up. Yeah, I mean, on stuff like this, when you're riding a pump track, you got rollers and berms to make speed, and it's not much different when you're in the, you know, on the mountain or riding an enduro. You can take a section like this and, and, and be able to float over the front of it and then pump, pump the backside and then lift again and pump again because doing pedal strokes isn't really an option because you try and pedal and you could click a pedal onto the ground or you just don't have the option because the way that the uh, gearing is, but you want more speed, and that's why pumping and pump track can help you out on the trail. Hello. Time for beer. That was it. Pump track 101 is finished. 
Well, that's a shopping trip over with, with Mr. Weir. See what he bought. <laughs> <laughs>